These are my instruments. I'll show them to you. Here, let's start with the tuner. That's an A. And here, I have a metronome. And here's the conductor's baton. Now let me show you some of my real instruments. Let's we'll start up with the flute. Next, we have the clarinet and the saxophone. These two instruments have reeds. They're flat pieces of wood. They go in the mouthpiece. I'll have to soak them in water first to get them ready. I also have an oboe reed and a bassoon reed. These are double reeds. There's a piece of wood at the bottom and the top. I'll soak these also. While we wait, I'll show you my recorders. This is the smallest recorder. It's the Garkline. I have three soprano recorders. Here's the first. Here's the second soprano recorder. And here's the third soprano recorder. The alto recorder is next. I have two tenor recorders. Here's the first one. And here's the second tenor recorder. The bass recorder is the largest. Get the clarinet reed. I have to dry it off a bit. And then I use a ligature to put it on the mouthpiece of the clarinet. I put the reed on and attach it with a ligature. Now let's check on the oboe 
bassoon read. Here's the oboe read. And here's the bassoon read. Now I'll show you my brass instruments. This is the trumpet. And this is the trumpet's mouthpiece. First I'm going to make some notes on the mouthpiece by itself. Then I'll play the trumpet. play on the mouthpiece first. And now I'll play on the trombone. Next, I've got a plastic trombone. These are used in marching bands sometimes. Very well then. I've got a violin next. This is the first string instrument I'll show you today. Now I have two guitars. This is a steel string guitar. It's also known as a folk guitar. I can strum it like that or with a pick. I can also play a melody on it. melody with a pick. Here I've got a classical guitar. This has nylon strings. That's how it sounds when it's plucked. Now I can also strum it with a pick. I can play a melody on it. And I can use a pick to play a melody as well. instruments we've got left are percussion, and there's quite a few of them. 
We'll start with the maracas. Next, we have the guero. I have two types of castanets. The first type is on a stick. The second type look like clams. Then I have several types of wood percussion. The clouds, the wood block, and sand blocks. It wouldn't be complete without the triangle. or the tuning fork. But the best of all is the Tibetan bowl. Now I have some more percussion over here. We've got a drum pad. And here we have a xylophone. I can use different types of mallets with the xylophone. Here are wood mallets. I can also use rubber mallets. And here are yarn mallets. Over here, I have a suspended cymbal. Just like the xylophone, I can use different mallets on it. This is what it sounds like with yarn mallets. This is what it sounds like with felt mallets. I can also use drumsticks on it. These have a nylon tip. Now, if I take the suspended symbol off, and grab its pair, I can use them together.
And to finish off, I've got a gong. <laughs>